against the Andrew's range of movement in the shoulder joint. So we're going to start off actively. So Andrew, if I can get you to flex, bring your shoulders up, hands down, bring them behind you. That's it, bring them side. And if you adduct them, adduct, sorry, get out. So you should be in the external rotate in order to get full range of movement. Hands down again, slowly. That's it. If I can ask you to bring your elbows to your side, you can bring your hands together, this internal rotation. Hands out, the external rotation. Right, brilliant. Going against passive range of movement now. So I'm just going to take under him. That's it. Bring it behind. That's flexion and extension. I'm going to bring it out. That's it. Internally. Externally rotate. Now I'm going to do these movements uh, resisted. So I'm just going to say, don't let them move you, okay? You want to flex, but don't let them move you. That's it, brilliant. From behind, bring your arm back down. Okay, don't let them push you up, push you. That's it. If you bring your arm off to the side, don't let them move you. That's it. Don't let them move you. There. Yeah. On the side there. Don't let them push you in. That's it. Don't let them pull you out. Okay, so we've got a few tests here for the shoulder impingement syndrome. Uh, first one's going to be knees compression test. Stabilise the scapula, get the patient to flex the shoulder to 90 to 120 degrees. And we'll apply a bit of over pressure there. And if you get any pain, that's a positive, positive test. Next is Holmes Kennedy test, which will get the patient to flex the shoulder and elbow both at 90 degrees. And we're going to passively internally rotate this. Again, that should create some pain if it's going to be a positive test, super supinase tendon. Final test is empty the full can test. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to get the patient to flex the shoulder, but we're going to bring it out into the scapular plane at about 45 degrees, um, and we're going to apply a bit of downward pressure, which the patient's going to resist with shoulder flexion. And a positive test would recreate pain, super supinase tendon, or an inflamed versa, and the empty can test, the patient pronates the hands, so the thumbs facing downwards. Again, downward pressure is applied, which the patient resists, and this will re recreate impeachment here.